Hi, I'm Bill Smoyer from Axis Hardware Supply, and today we're going to show you how to electrify your existing Von Duprin exit trim. The nice thing about the Von Duprin trim is it's flexible and can change as your building needs change too. Today we're going to electrify this trim, which is currently mechanical. The first thing we'll need to do is to loosen the upper posts on the trim so that it allowed this plate to pivot a little bit. And then we're gonna completely remove the lower posts. Then we're going to remove this plate and set it aside. Then we're gonna take this existing mechanical carriage out by pushing against the springs, lifting up slightly, and then taking the entire unit out. Sometimes it'll take one of the pins out, but you can simply place those back in. The electrification kit comes with two separate parts bags. The first parts bag has the carriage that's gonna replace the existing one we just removed. Simply take the pieces and put them together, like that. Then we're gonna insert the new carriage assembly into the existing trim like this. Put a little pressure against the springs and make sure that the lever's at the three o'clock position. And it should sit right down, like so. From the Von Duprin factory, the electrification kit comes fail safe. We're going to set it up to be fail secure by simply removing these two screws and then inverting the solenoid. It's a little tricky when you set it up to be fail safe because you actually have to preload the solenoid by moving the lever to be able to insert the piece into the lock. And it drops in like that. Make sure that you have the wires routed underneath the plate and the positioning comes out in the proper spot in your prep for the door. The last thing you need to do is put the posts back in the lower portion of the trim. Hand tighten them and then use your box wrench to get them snug and secure. The final thing we need to do is to test the trim electrically. In the Von Duprin instructions, you'll see how to route the wire properly to make sure it does not get pinched or cut. So please refer to those instructions. A tip I'd like to share with you is how to strip the wire very easily. The harness comes set up like this, and if you strip a little bit of the outer casing off, you'll notice that there's a string. Go ahead and get some pliers and hold the wire and let it rip. You see how it easily strips the casing back and it'll peel back very easily if you need to remove a portion of the wire. We're gonna use our portable 27 volt power supply which consists of three nine volt batteries to test the solenoid operation before we installed on the door. To do that, we connect the alligator clips to the wires from the trim. You'll notice that the solenoid energizes and allows you to retract and turn the lever since it's in the fail secure position now. If I remove power, it will relock and the trim is now locked. 
The way that we're powering locks today is with our portable power supply. This can be taken into the field and especially handy when you don't have power to the building, maybe because of the new construction. So what you do is you simply take three nine volt batteries and you tie them in series by plugging one of the batteries on top of the other two and the remaining two poles become 27 volts DC. Remember when you're finished with your portable power supply to take it apart and store it safely so you don't cause an electrical fire in your service vehicle. Thank you for watching. If we can be of any further assistance, please contact us at 855-847-5691 or visit us online at accesshardware.com.